Well, that's the word, y'all. It's St. Louis. We better get in playing some more cohabitation. This is where we left off. Let's get into it. Was this some sort of prank? You fucking kids. Stop playing with the quantum teleportation radio. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Youngsters these things. It's fucking rude. Always dealing with fucking quantum machinery. The matches seem to have no discernible uh, order of source, which would make sense if it was sent via quantum teleportation, whatever that is. The frequency is spot on for a wave that comes from hundreds of light years away. Hmm. God, this is all real, isn't it? They're going to kill us! The Martians! You are the first human to ever hear a message from outer space. What did this message even say? Akia? What the fuck is that? Quantum teleportation, a potential space fleet flying towards Earth. That doesn't make any sense. It's just crazy. I feel like I'm in, um, um, I feel like I'm in, what the fuck? Independence Day. Independence Day. You begin to feel dizzy. Ooh. Yeah. They got mind control. Oh, who was you? Oh, you're my boss. <laughs> thought, sorry, boss. I thought you were the alien. Lucky fainted. Many hours has passed. It's nearly the end of work. Uh, damn, it is kind of dark, huh? Fall asleep again, hey? Jesus Christ, you're fired! I'm telling you to sick of your shit. <laughs> or more like fall it onto your disc, I should say. Looks like you broke the receiver. It's a shame. Maybe I thought I was. I, maybe I. What? Where, where am I seeing? <laughs> where am I seeing? Maybe. <laughs> it's a shame because I thought I saw a wave coming. Hmm. Must have been an errant signal. Though, I know there's all sorts of jamming shit coming in from space, space given the war in Ukraine. Still, because <laughs> we all know Ukraine is in space. <laughs> why did you talk about the war? Why he? Why did you talk about the war in Ukraine? <laughs> yeah, plenty of Ukraine. There's a war going on over there. This is the exact type of behavior I was talking about this morning. Pretty Butte, you should go home and get some rest. Then come back tomorrow. And never pull another stunt like this again, or you're fired. I'm keep just. I'm just keep on turning you with with firing you every time you mess up. You know you're gonna keep messing up. We have no idea what to say. I think there's a yes. Now get your ass out of here. And get, and I'll get a replacement receiver tonight. You're also fired. Don't come back. You come back, I'll just hire you. I'll just say you're fired again. <laughs> well, because I'm going home. Go home to my boy, man. Fuck you. I don't need this job. I could be a quantum rally witty order. Where the fuck is this called? I can work, I can work at fucking I, I can work at NASA. They'll, they'll yeah, NASA. They don't like my stuff. They don't like my brain. What can I see? <laughs> okay, this way. Oh, I'm here now. Okay. I'm taking a bus. What the fuck? That big ass wall? Oh no, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> I thought it was a big ass wall behind the building or something. Just the road. It just looks fucking terrible. Why would they draw it like that? I can do better than that. Honey, you are my door wide open. Hey, Penny Boot. Is a duo girl. Nigga's a girl. Are you are you ready for some steak? Cooked it just for you. You owe me one. Oh, sweet cheeks. I mean, cute bitch. You don't have the strength to say anything right now. Uh, come on, don't. Ah, oh, shucks, fuck. Did he? <laughs> Skipped it. You share a meal with the cute bitch. Mmm. Um, 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 um. Delicious. What you put in this? Possum? Amazing. As good as it tastes, you are barely able to finish it. With what happened earlier, uh, today looming over you, the meal feels like a lid weight in your stomach. Cute bit seemed to notice something wrong. Listen, there's three years really ha- These- Oh wait, I thought she was mad or something. What was that noise? What the fuck was that? Listen. Uh, excuse me. <sighs> that possum. Mm. These three years really have been special. You make it worth it to live. Oh, I got her voice. You make it worth it to live in this world, you know, despite everything. I want to make sure you know that. Pity Butte, are you doing all right? We haven't said anything you got here. It's, it's work stuff. Work stuff? And that's why you're acting so weird? I can't tell you, baby, it's a secret. I'll say it if I tell you I have to kill you. Is it the head professor again, Elias? Right? Yeah, he's an ass. He is an asshole. 
You spent so much time at work just for him to treat you like shit. If he did something to you, just let me know now. It's nothing. Come on, Betty Bill. I don't want to play a game with you. It's our anniversary. We should talk. Tell me, did something happen at work? Was it the head professor again? God, that such guy is just an asshole. I know, right? Jesus. He fired me like 15 times. I feel like you don't have a choice. You tell a cute bitch that you got a signal at work. What? A, a sick? What kind of signal? You mean a, a radio signal? From another planet? Are you serious right now? You can't muster anything beyond out of your head. Mm hmm. Is the signal alright? Fuck! This is crazy! Have you told anyone? What did I. Why did, didn't I find it out from news? I haven't told anyone, woman. No way! You, you haven't told anyone? Holy shit, so I'm the second person to know? I must say I'm honored, Petty Butte. As long as this isn't some elaborate prank. I did. I did they even say the aliens did this? The aliens did this. Why would I lie? <laughs> what am I lying about? We tell a cute bitch about Akia. What you learn about is society in XM0124. You talk about how it said that an Akin fleet might be on its way, but you beg. But okay, let me redo that. You talk about how it said that an Akin fleet might be on its way, but you begged you, but begged you to let them flee to Earth in peace. Hmm. Well, knowing that, what do you think? Do you think they're going to actually come over to Earth? If they're intelligent to communicate with us, they might as well take it. <laughs> they might as well over they might as well overrule us. <laughs> it's a joke. You don't joke like that, bitch. Not in my house. <laughs> it's not like we're using our planet for any good. What are you talking about? We're living here. That's a, that's what we're using for good. <laughs> that's how we're using it for good. We're living here. Breathing. Eating. Building houses. What the fuck are you talking about? It's a joke. <laughs> you know? No, I don't know. Ugly bitch, you're ugly bitch, you ain't cute bitch. <laughs> yeah, this is exciting, Petty Bill. You're gonna be so famous. When are you gonna tell your professor? I guess I'll tell him tomorrow. Ah, it's awful where allies is. I think that's the right call. You should keep me in the loop too. I won't tell anyone else, I promise. God, this is so fascinating. You think they they're you think they are more intelligent than us? More kind? Maybe even more thoughtful? Isn't, and if so, would that mean that... Never mind. I mean that what? I just realized you must be tired after all. This sounds like it's been a long day. Pretty Butte, I'm so glad I'm with you. Thank you for sharing it with me. Let's head to bed. It's been one hell of an anniversary. Finally, shit. Quit your fucking yapping, bitch. Been talking my ear off all dinner, woman. I haven't ate my steak yet, or my possum. You need to sleep more than anything else right now. You decide to call it a night. Maybe things will make more sense in the morning. She's over there speaking Japanese. Jesus Christ. By some miracle, you managed to get some sleep. But you don't feel any better. Hmm. You should probably talk to the cute bitch before heading to work. I don't want to. She talked enough last night. She, she talked enough yesterday, goddammit. What the, what the, I'm skipping it. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even mean to actually do that, but I, I was holding sprint and fucking just skip the whole thing. Please, if you're just talking nonsense, I want to hear its voice. Sure. Really? Thank you, Betty Butte. I love you. So it's decided then. Just give me a ring when you contact them, okay? I promise I, you won't regret it. Whatever. Why? Why is the handle of this fire thing you're green? What type of fucking. Quantum fire extinguisher is this? Who the fuck had the green handle for a fire extinguisher? It looks all off. What's over here? Do I have a bathroom. Why ain't no curtains in the bathtub? Jesus Christ. Why is my mirror just a sheet of metal? <laughs> Why is my mirror just fucking metal? What the fuck? It's just a metal square. Both it on the wall. Woman. What is this? What am I looking at? Oh, that's so disgusting. Cute bitch, you painted this? You paint this too? Ugh. Your paint's a terrible woman. What the fuck is wrong with your head? Lord have mercy. Jesus Christ, this house is kind of small. 
Long, long hallway, though. Alright, it's gonna work. My boss gonna be pissed at me. Why are there holes in the apartment? What the fuck? Why do we live in this shitty town? Of, why do we live in this shitty town? Of town? We're gonna go talk to the alien now and I work out. Ah, Quantum Industries, third fuck. Barely built, you're here bright and early this time. Hmm, well, I guess I won't fire you this time. Unfortunately, our rotation still has you on receiver duty. You're lucky I was able to find a new one this morning. Alright, installed it. Oh, new one this morning, already installed it. Well, get to it, goddammit. There's Young. Now you're time to prove yourself worthy. Fuck you. I don't need a job. Alright. It produces a harsh hissing noise as always. This time it feels like a little more harsh. Hmm. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Better check this dial and buttons. <sighs> Despite everything, they are still unchanged. Time for the terminal. Huh? Now it's time to set the frequency. Well, first you have to call cute bitch and put them on speakerphone. Ready, Butte, is it time? Yes, it's time, woman. Time for you to listen to this conversation up to have this alien rat. I can't thank you enough for letting me on in on this. If it understands us, could you let me talk to it over the speakerphone? Oh, I you wish you share cute bitch excitement, although all you feel is dread. Yeah, cause I want to be talking no nonsense to him. <laughs> He's probably gonna join them. Join them when they take over the world. Gonna start speaking like Hitler. <laughs> Austin Snipes and Well, there's no going back now. What was the frequency again? I think it was 982 megahertz. Yeah, there we go. Look like it just be making useless noise. It's not 982? What happened today then? Was all the dream? Was it not not I was it not 83? I think it was 983. Get the wrong hertz. Switch to I think the megahertz 983. Are we supposed to be hearing it now? Pretty butte. Um, uh, is something? Oh, here it is. It will be my final time repeating my message. Oh! Holy shit! That's, that's the alien! That's what we're working with, right? The area I'm currently in is dangerous. I cannot stay here much longer. Still, I want to repeat my message one final time in hopes that a resident of Earth near the original pro broadcast mission location could reply. Reply? Danger? Betty Bill is reaching out to us. We gotta send the message back. Workplace has a transmitter, right? Cute bitch is right. We do have a transmitter. It's included in the receiver. But replying really the best call? This could all be some grand trick. But yes, call, call him. Just call him, call him, call him. No more talking. Oh shit! I'm trying to call him. God damn it! Oh, she's, what she talking to? Hello, XMO124. Are you there? You are taken aback by how eager Cute bitch is to talk to him over speaker. Oh, he's talking to an alien. Why wouldn't she be eager? Sounds stupid. My goodness. I thought a reply would never come. Well, who is this speaking? Is this, the, is this the transmitter of the original message? I'm not sure who you're talking about, but this is cute, bitch. I'm the partner of Petty Beauty, the person who first heard your message. I see. Is it wonderful to hear your reply? <laughs> it's, it is wonderful to hear your reply. XMO124? I was wondering if there's anything you could do to prove you really are a, you know, alien? Are you aware of the ploy? Are you aware of the polynomial time? Which is not a polynomial time problem? You don't know what the fuck he's talking about? <laughs> yes, I do. It's a famous computer science problem. Well, how do you know? I'm working in quantum, quantum physics. I should know that too. It tries to prove that every problem whose solution can be verified in polynomial time can also be solved in polynomial time. No one's ever been able to solve it. Cause it's made up cause it's made up stupid thing. <laughs> Sound dumb as fuck. Give me one moment. Numbers, 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 numbers. Numbers, number, numbers, 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 times two numbers. What on earth is that sound? My apologies. I know that message was incorruptible, whatever I just said there to you. But if you look at the spectrogram, it will translate into a simple machine level algorithm algorithm that solves the aforementioned problem. 
while no one on your planet has stopped it on Akiya, just a problem is so tricked that even come owners like me know the solution. You have no idea what that motherfucker is saying, but you decide to believe it. We can get proof of that later. For now, though, I believe you. So, XM Old was on two four. Can you tell us about yourself? Like, for example, what do you like? I never really thought how I would describe myself. Oh, yeah, what you look like? I thought she what? You, I thought you said. I thought she said what you like. Uh, I never thought I would just as well just describe myself to another species. Hmm. I guess I have a pointed face ending on a, ending on a snout with red nose. I have a big circle of ears. Uh, one of which is green and on others like red. I have two antennas that sprout from those ears. I have also have big eyes and a big mouth too. My lower body is encased in a robotic exoskeleton that's colored blue to reflect my XMO rate. My shoulders have an orange hint, but my other joints are light blue. Again, the picture what XMO looked like. Well, that description good enough for you? Oh, it's him, my guy. This boy is ugly. Where is his nose? This man is ugly. Where is it? I can't. I don't know where the tip of his face is. At. He has a big ass eye with a big mouth. I don't see the mouth at all. This man is hideous. <laughs> it was great. Is there anything you would like to ask us? Well, oh wait. Well, as I said before, it is dangerous here, so I can't stay long. But now I'm, I'm curious. What do you and your partner look like? Oh, Petty Butte, we should try and describe each other. Cubit goes on to give a detailed description of you, carefully worded in a way to allow a being from a different planet to understand. Now your turn, Petty Butte. Um, she's an ugly bitch with five, 13 eyes with a, a disgusting smell, 12 tentacles. <laughs> uh, this is also strange. <laughs> They're ugly. <laughs> Very funny, Petty Butte. I wasn't being funny, I wasn't joking. Moving on. No time is of the essence, XMO124, so I won't keep you for too long. Still, I must ask, could you tell us a bit about your society? Hmm. As for Optimum Society, I am cynical about that, but I can give you a general overview. But first, you will need to tell me a little bit about your society. Otherwise, it would be hard to explain what mine is like in comparison to yours. I can do that. Again, cute bitch seems really eager to talk with this supposed to be a conversation between you and the alien. Oh, wasn't it? Uh, can you read? <laughs> Get it. Us residents of Earth, we call ourselves humans. And since the very first humans walked this Earth, we have been at each other's throats. Societal progress comes when we try and seek out comfort. This comfort often comes at the expense of others. We invent the slavery. The taking away of freedom from other humans. Oh, humans! Oh, my bad. We're the only species capable of. We're the only species capable of genocide. An attempt to, cl to completely wipe out specific members of our society. And though some may, and some, and those some say our lives are better than they used to be, the technologies and comfort that made it that way mostly came about through war. Okay, and <laughs> it still married my life better. I don't go fuck to happen to other people. <laughs> War, I should add, is a truly awful thing. It's when hum humans try and kill and maim each other. Hey, if it takes 15 wars for me to have a teleportation device so I can teleport anywhere I want, so be it. <laughs> so be it. I don't care how many wars, how many people die. I want my teleportation teleportation device now. I want to teleport to intimate those still some fries and teleport back home. <laughs> In recent times, things have got even worse. Humans hate other humans more than ever. A great virus killed many of our species. A new war just broke out. And on and on and on. It's all isn't to, to say that there's no hope for humanity. There's our optimistic people out there. My little sister was one of them. Petty Butte too is positive about things. What? <laughs> Stop lying on me. <laughs> Putting words in my mouth. <laughs> you don't know me like that. But I just can't see this. I just can't see this any other way. You're not sure what to make of cute bitch dots on human society. What will you say? Cute bitch is wrong. <laughs> Humans are fucking amazing. I don't know why she's bitching. She lives in a fucking two million dollar house. <laughs> or I'm fucking rich. She's bitching for no reason. She's just like them fucking 
celebrities who cry about everything even though they got money. There's people with harder lives than you win. They see. Oh, no one I would describe my society in the human context. Us Aukians are all organized in different castes. Where does it exist? There's the XMOs which do dirty work, mining, architecture, agri agriculture, or any odd job that requires a lot of manpower. We are often sent on tasks where a high mortality rate is expected. Then there's the 001 class, 001 classes, who do grunt their work. They operate equipment, survey the land for the holes who try and eat us, those kind of tasks. For the 002s, I don't see them very often. That is because they are servant classes who work directly on the 003s. They prepare technology to deliver objects and check up on our planet's highest class. Speaking of them, 003s are the leaders of Akia. They, made up of, they are made up of unit managers and scientists. They serve as our leaders for nearly every facet of life and drive forward societal progress. When compared to Earth, I will say that Akians um, seems less divided. We are all... We all are united against the whole. It seems, and goals generally are shared by our, our entire species. In a rare case where an Aukian wishes harm upon another, they are stunned down. I am suffering from a little bit of amnesia at the moment, so I can't recall what sound downing means, but I don't think it's good. That'd be, that should be all. I should probably head back to my unit, uh, unit manager to show Thank you, XM0125. Just one more thing. Do you feel like ex Aukian society is more righteous than ours? Uh, maybe. I don't fucking know. They are, they're, these things are like rats. Fuck, we're fucking human beings. They're probably smarter than us. <laughs> Only reason they're fucking together because they're fighting a bigger threat. If humans, if an alien came down and said they were going to destroy us, we would all come together for sure. <laughs> but we ain't, we, we, we don't have a, humans are the apex predators on Earth. We are the dangerous, the most dangerous species of any animal. Like, we have guns and bombs and shit. We can do anything. That's why we're gonna fight each other because we, we have no one else to fight. Now loading. Hey, I'm back. Just one more thing. Are you feel like resting ours? <laughs> yeah, you guys are losers. <laughs> you guys are bums. I want to see. We won't hold you any longer. Thank you for talking with us. XO 124. Transmission ends. We have no idea what to make of recent events. These humans strike you as a strange bunch. What's some there's some fucking dweebs. Intergalactical dweebs. Your unit manager has lucky been waiting you for has, your unit manager has lucky been awaiting your return for a while. You should probably head back soon. Alright, time to go back. You should probably talk talk take the radio. Oh, take it. Okay. Take it! <laughs> Let me save. Finally. My fallen comrades will not be forgotten. Oh, hello, guys. I did it again, yet. Attention! <laughs> XM243383 XM2159 This is XM0124 He is the first Arkin to emerge from this radio tower now And as you can see, he has the radio equipment in tow XM3, oh, XM3009 uh, I said 009, I said 0, zero. Pass you on the back Good job, Private! You did well, soldier! Well, well, tell me Did you hear anything up there on the radio? Yes, I did Tell XM3009 that you heard a signal from planet Earth. I see. Tell the truth. Don't act surprised. I put a recording device on you the instant the plan to send you to the tower was set in motion. The work we do there is to oh, I'm glad I told the truth. <laughs> the work we do there is too important to leave in the hands of a OOO class alone. I hope you don't mind, but in the end, it turned out well. Now I know about Earth and can start planning our escape to it with the other OO3. For this, we have nobody to think but you. Thank you, sir. I always, I always appreciate it. In return, I came here with my old, old two cohorts to give you an offer. I want to take you down to our command post and for the first time in Arkham history to make an o o into an o o 3 I got a burp. 
No, I don't. I got a burp. <laughs> you get to present my Kelly with the radio in itself and live like a king for the rest of the time. Your, your contribution to our race cannot be understated, after all. So, X and O124, what do you say? I'm about to see what your kind can only ever dream of. Oh, go. Time to be king. Why would I refuse that? I want to be fucking king. All right, servants. March. Get the headquarters. The council. The city hall. This is one of Akin's crown jewels. Command post 17. It should be an hour, XMO 124. Not just for you, but for oh, oh, class everywhere. Well, no more dilly dally. Let's go. Welcome, XOMO 124. Feel free to take some time looking around. You should soak in the scenery. We are done. You'll find us down the hall, which you can get to by either going right or left. There's the, mo the promotion ceremony will begin. <laughs> this door leads to this command post laboratories. The uh, OO cracking like you is not allowed here. I'm not OO, I'm O3, I thought I was promoted. What the fuck? I'll get promoted. Be promoted. Hello. Find a conference room behind me. Please use the computer next to the door to confirm your identity and let you pass. You can't have any old class running in here, you know. Oh my god. I am the new cool guy. Thank you for confirming thank you for confirming your identity. I'll be on my way, we're allowed to pass. Attention! Action 3065, Action 3, 002, Dump, Action 3, 002, Dump, 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 I listened in on him with my own two ears as he braved the hole and reclaimed our precious radio. Then, in a great stroke of luck, he was there in time to hear the first ever signal from a habit habitable planet. Habitable, habitable, oh, fuck it. This planet is called Earth, and from what I heard about it, it's right for our text. Now, our X of O124 had a chance to repart these beings of that planet. I heard him beg them not to kill us. I must say, that was a wonderful move of, of deception. And when X of O124 was asked if Hawking was more right than Earth, he said yes. I'm glad for that. We need to put these beings in their place. These disgusting, low life animals. Nevertheless, your actions, X of O124, have led us to, uh, to what our speeches have been seeking out for years. And for that, you deserve. What happened? The hell is happening? The lights have just came off. Shit, is the whole, what? No, this is my, I, mean, I, was, I, was, I was gonna become king of the, 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 the Alkins, man. man I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get Alkin bad bitches. I'm gonna get Alkin money. Alkin, uh, no. Is it attack? Oh my God. <laughs> I said, what the fuck is that? Give me the fuck, ew. No! <laughs> My fucking loyal, royalty 
I was gonna be king, this bastard. Ah! Ah! Oh, what the fuck is that? Hello? Ugh. I'm just high over here. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> Goofy face ass, <laughs> dude. Ew. Oh, I died? God damn it. Oh my god. Sage! Oh, this way. Oh my god. I don't want to die. Ah! I gotta go over here. There's nothing fucking over here. Like me. Oh, trash. I didn't know. Oh my god, I'm dead. I can't find it, Dave. <laughs> Where's the fucking other day? What a goddamn key card! <laughs> I'm stuck! Oh, oh yeah. They're taking over the whole goddamn headquarters. No! Please. What is that? Oh, that guy. Before, ugly fuck. Hello. I am the queen of the hall. What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> you can understand what he's saying now. That's right. You're still wearing earpiece. I don't translate from before. Hmm? I see. In your eye, there is the light of understanding. That is good. We may continue. XM0124. That is your name, no? Well, XM0124. You are the worst. I mean, you are the first of your kind that I have talked to. It is because I sense that you hold great influence. Influence large enough to decide the fate of Akins, the fate of my kind, and the fate of the Earthlings alike. Yes, I am aware of Earth as well. I heard everything from your radio. I will start with this. I know that my race is a barbaric one. We have certainly killed countless of you people. You, you Arkins are so weak, but we had no other choice to survive. Nothing else can sustain us but your flesh. This is not an out of. This is not. A, this is not out of a, a lack of trying. Those periods where few halls attack occur is when I, well, when I make a try to explore other substances. But every single time I ever, this is in vain. No other food can sustain us. I need it. Only rats can sustain me. <laughs> can sustain? Sustain. And this is why you name yourselves after our planet? While we are deemed the miserable hole? Plants? I should say feel pain too. They do, they do shits with chemicals and signal, and through your early genetic and engineering efforts, you drove many of their species to extinction. This is something even we haven't done. I do not wish to dwell on this for too long. In truth, I make my appearance known. I make my appearance now to give you an offer. As said before, I know that what we do is by Beric, and I am willing to not only have a trace amount of progeny, effectively. Effective, but effectively calling my own kind. What type of song is playing? <laughs> this can be sustained by you, us only eating your criminals. These Akins are those who are sundowned, forced outside to the night where we roam. In return, however, I will need your kind to stay out on. I will need your kind to stay on this planet. So all of you gone to Earth. My rich cannot kick to you. I'm not gonna. <laughs> why we stay to fucking feed you, us? Are you crazy? Hell no, I'm not negotiating this. What is that beat? What was that music playing? It kind of slaps. I know it is near impossible for you to see my side. After all, we have nearly died at the hands of my sons. But this is a mean to have no shared. This, this is a mean to have no one share that fate. At least no one, one of moral character. This generation of whole is large in number. Worried that unless I call them, many more people die. So XM0124, what would you choose? I want to say no, but I, I feel like it's going to kill me if I say no. Fuck it. I admire that you can see our side. It takes a lot from someone of your species. But I promise you, this decision was the correct one.
What do I just do? <laughs> what you know mine? So now daytime. Prior detected whether I'm not believed having no lies. Free patches granted. Do you like to designate the airlock? And disengage the airlock? Oof. Everyone else who knew about Earth existence is dead or a hole. We need to get back to the radio. Yeah, they're all fucking dead. So that negotiating don't mean anything. I can't give you people you killed already. Fucking bitch. Oh, 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 class, what are you doing here? There aren't any holes in there anymore. Look like they live with somewhere else during the cloud. Whatever, the place has been destroyed anyway. That's boring in your heart's content. I got more per thing to do besides just standing here. Like to go get myself killed. <laughs> Put the radio transmitter back. Given a familiar static, looks like it works. I wonder how long the assistance of the Earth will keep be kept a secret. This could be the last chance to say something to humanity before the rest of uh, Aki is aware. Wait, is Aki is bigger than this? That was like a little town or something. I thought they all did. We decided it would be best to put them in terms of what would do the most good for Akia. One on one hand, see that be fucking me up. One one hand, what the fuck that mean? Be fucking me up. On one hand, leaving for Earth will give us all sh all a shot at a life free from predators. And the residents of that planet seem rife with division. They aren't even grateful for grateful for the land they are on. However, many could launch a resistance. Even if, even if we win a galactic war against them, we will both undoubtedly suffer heavy losses on the other hand living here will rule out a conflict with the humans Aki and society may have problems too can we really say that we deserve the earth more than them also according to cute bitch earth doesn't even sound like that great of a place to live furthermore well she's a bitch <laughs> she's crying about shit that doesn't got nothing to do with her she's literally a, a, a bitch she's cr crying about shit they, 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 Crying, <laughs> just cry. She always does cry. God damn it, not that bad. She, she's fucking gloomy and shit. She always so goddamn negative. Goddamn, we out, we optimistic. God damn it. Fred boy, you didn't make a deal with the old queen. You might get better from here on. What you say? I'm leaving. Your voice, your response to the radio. So what the radio? Twelve hours later. I think that was it. Oh, er these are earlier or later. But now I can't stop thinking. Pretty Butte, could you keep me on the line? I just want to right here in case XMO12 replies again. He decided to do a good bitch says. Fucking whore. When you wait in front of the radio for a time work day, anxiously waiting. Anything more than uh, from Akikaka. Eventually, you hang up with cute bitch. But now, before they urge you to keep the communication with XMO124 a complete secret, Oh, hmm. Oh, that work I see. Don't act like I don't see that cell phone in your hand. Look, it's the second day in a row where a sig signal got logged while you're on the receiver duty. That can't be a coincidence. Now you're gonna show me the data of these signals, or I'm gonna have to ask you to leave and never come back. Could <laughs> quickly leave. Fuck that. No, I'm gonna tell her. You're telling her about the messages from Akia, about XMO 124, and the possibility of an invasion. This is some sort of joke. Let me see the data. Damn it, dumbass motherfucker. Should have fired you 15 times ago. 15 fires ago. <laughs> it can't be. Because all the perimeter, perimeters are in order. Uh, there will to be a genuine message from outer space. My God, Peter Butte. You actually done it. I'll take back whatever I said. I sent this data to my superiors immediately for conf confirmation. Peter Butte, it changes everything. You'll become famous. We all will. But that's the least of our concerns right now. Humanity needs to figure out what to do in response to this message. I have some phone calls to make. Beep, beep, boop. Hello, pizza. You and Ali have spent the rest of the day with his superiors to trying to confirm the validity of the message. In the end, you all found that they were certainly alien in or origin. Uh, Ali's sub superiors decided to make the announcement to the public tomorrow and spend the rest of the night drafting what to say and alerting royal governments. Eventually, you have something left to do but take a bus. Eventually, you have nothing left to do but take a bus back to your apartment. I wonder, I wonder what the end gonna be. Cause I made them both tell the truth about each other. 
look like it's gonna reunite. And also, I made the decision for Ankians to go to Earth. I wonder what's gonna happen. What is gonna, what's gonna happen? What's gonna, what's gonna happen? Hello, sweet tight. Sweet taint. Sweet taint. <laughs> Hello, sweet taint. Sweet tartar. The TV is telling the news. This is Channel Dirty with a breaking news report. As we put on earlier, the Polish city of Medikakut, where the fuck that is, was accidentally struck by a Russian missile this morning. Recent counts have the death toll at over 300, many of which we were fresh. Let me, let me redo that. <sighs> Recent counts <laughs> had the death toll at over 300. It's a high score. Many of which were ref refugees from the Russo Ukraine war. In a, <laughs> in a press conference, Russian President Putin has refused to take responsibility for the deadly mistake and, has, and denied demands to send aid across the border. He told everybody to go fuck themselves. Just now, President Biden has signed for the immediate deployment of 100k troops to go kill themselves in the Russian war. <laughs> to bolster the growing forces of NATO. They stand together with the dirty dozens troops pledged by Germany in... Are you hearing this? World War II has eventually begun. Calm down, woman. Calm down, woman. Jesus Christ. It's not World War Three. There's, there's two countries going at it. <laughs> Come the fuck down. I don't support it. You don't support it. Nobody support. I don't. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. I don't live in Ukraine. <laughs> it's really the only solution. I don't care. <laughs> it's an option. I don't give a fuck. My country is safe. They're not Russia ain't over here. I guess I don't know either. I just wish this could be all. I would just. I just wish this could all end. Everything the news talk about how terrible the world has become. Has become. Bitch, the, ter the world been worse back then, woman. Everybody's getting pillaged and raped. Way more than now. <laughs> Humanity is fucked. I'm telling you, it's fucked. Jesus Christ, you're a... Why did I bury you? You're, you're, you're a procrastinator, goddammit. <laughs> I paid $1,000 for this $50 million home. <laughs> Even though it got fucked up floors. <laughs> I live in a condo or some shit. Where the fuck go? Russia has enough nuclear missiles to destroy half the planet. We have enough to destroy the other half. What happens after something like that? I uh, hope you fucking shut the fuck up for once. That's that what I want. <laughs> These guys. You think it all them to get better soon? Woman, well, war don't last forever. As soon as one side dies, it goes down. <laughs> you really think you really think it would get better even after all this? After all, what? You don't live in Ukraine. Why are you bitching? We, we, live, we live in Tokyo. <laughs> we live in Tokyo. Why? Why you say it's all get better? Like you live, like you would, like you live, like next to Ukraine or some shit. Like, 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 we're, I, I don't know what to say about that. I don't have nothing, have nothing, have nothing to do with the war. A kind of kick American troops are starting to head out today. The whole world is going to enter into this war. Holy shit, no, they're not. <laughs> Woman, come the fuck down. Everybody, everybody, Jupiter and Mars. I guess there is something we can do. There's nothing we can do, woman. I'm sitting down. I'm eating my cupcake. I have a feeling where this is going. It's Hawkins. Ask him to come. And what, fight the war for, for Ukraine? That sounds dumb as fuck. <laughs> it's so stupid as hell. They're kind of help this planet. How? They're fucking ugly rat creatures. How can they help us? <laughs> have half of them is dead. They might have some problems, but they are structured that they work together to build toward the greater good. That's because the fucking big enemy is fucking them all up. They can't. They don't have no one bigger than them to f fight against like we do. We only have ourselves to fight against. <laughs> That's why we're doing it. We're bored. We can do that too. We just don't want to. Because we like fighting other people and taking their land. Because we're better than the fucking Akians. We take whatever we want. How? How? At this rate, we may never have a chance to figure it all out. Woman, we're human beings. You act like. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you're fucking crazy. <laughs> we're human beings, goddammit. War is gonna happen, even war is gonna war is gonna happen between countries, cities, fucking uh, neighborhoods, and like we're human beings. 
It, whole war happens against animals all the time. Like, I, just, I don't... I don't know what's crazy about that. Yes, people die, but you know, that's life. Maybe you could try reaching out to them. Maybe tell them about... Why does she sound so loud in my ear? Maybe tell them about the war starting here. We could use their help now more than ever. The war starting here. Ain't no war starting in fucking America. What are you talking about? Using Ukraine. <laughs> Who's we? You're not. You're not. Last time I checked, you're not Ukrainian. <laughs> you're from California, woman. If you're from you're from Beverly Hills, you think you can reach out to them again? I don't want to. Please just try with me. Everything me. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> Wait, have you? You haven't told the head professor yet, have you? Please tell me you haven't. He will definitely try to stop any more content without his supervision. I told everybody. And <laughs> tell world leaders about it too. Who will start to prepare for yet another war, but this time against Akia. All this will be for nothing. You two haven't spoke. I have. I can't believe it. We just lost our only hope for a better earth. <laughs> ah, the dog, you're bad. You're a big mad loser. Pretty beauty, you ruined everything. <laughs> Get out. This is my house. What are you talking about? <laughs> I pay for this bitch. Yeah, it's not worth all this crazy. This bitch is crazy. <laughs> Everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Me is gonna kill us all. The nukes, the boys. The night, <laughs> the night bus that heads toward the university and get on it in just in time. Hopefully, everyone will have left by now. You will cut. You will. You, hopefully, everyone will have left by now. You could still have access to the radio because now you know what you must do. I must destroy it. I'm not destroying it. I want to. I want home. Oh my god. Where my boss so I can tell him to go fuck himself? It must be so it must be so late that everyone even alive is gone. You're lucky you still have a key. Intuitively, you turn the receiver on. This is probably worked. What's that noise? It just gotta scare me a little bit. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? I don't know. Go through the startup routine as always. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Akia. You happened to get here as X and 0124 was the line of me. Akia should leave this planet. You say something was coming. We need you here. Earth. Ah, yeah. <laughs> God damn. So what happened was my mic broke now. Now I have to record my phone because my, my mic fucking broke. It fucking bent. It was bending the whole, like the cord on it was bending. I'm gonna show y'all a picture. The cord on it was bending, and you can see, and it broke. And now you can see the. The end, the end part to the cord stuck inside the fucking mic. <laughs> As you can see there, it's fucking stuck. Now I gotta play this shit on my phone all over again. Okay. Oh my god. The sound sound, the audio sound horrible. Let's just fucking continue. I'm so fucking pissed off. <laughs> now I gotta buy another fucking mic again. Oh, uh. You're playing on my phone like the OG days. What will you say in response? I agree. I want to go on Earth and kill you guys. Oh! I agree. Maybe in this moment it's best to tell him something about humanity. What will you tell him about your species? Hmm. The beauty and health of humankind. We're amazing. Mostly America. XMO124, Manny is beautiful. They have a problem, sure, but we have done so many wonderful things in our short time here. 10,000 years ago, we were no different from apes, but now I have a device in my pocket that can connect me to anyone in the world. We have built all inspiring works of art, founded systems that try to keep everyone fed and housed, band together as one to form societies and become bigger than the, the sum of our parts. Even just in my day-to-day -day life, I see people be people hold the door for each other and forgive mistakes and embrace one another in love. This is what it means to be human, though. No matter what happens, I won't forget that. XML124, there's only one question on my mind now. You think 
two beings diametrically opposed oppose can ever live to can ever learn to live as one? Hmm. Think about it. Um, you think about petty dudes for question questions for a long time. You don't know when they you, <clears throat> you don't know in what sense they mean. Are they talking about us and them? Petty dude and cute bitch. All kings in the hole? The question remains. Is cohabitation possible? Yes, let's try it. If it fucks up, then it fucks up. <laughs> you voice your response into the radio. Shut it off. Both of you all both of you know all that you need at this point. The answer to Petty's question. This has already been made apparent. Rat people and humans live as one. They already do. They live on the human planet already. Got fat ass rats living in New York. On one fateful day, the Alkins have learned of the planet known as Earth, chose to gather themselves and prepare a fleet of spacecraft to find a new place for themselves, free from the hole. XM0124 is hailed as hero. And the survivor Alkian do the survivor Alkian. Though they must leave their home world, there is a great excitement among the Alkians who are ready and willing to explore a planet that will free them from a curse they have suffered under since their conception. At the last of the Alkian spaceship escaped, the, the, the desert winds of their home planet, XM0124, looks so out toward that place he hoped once so come home. Uh, the window shattered, he thinks it's tricking for the fire. Move too goddamn fast. On Earth, a typical where we cease fire occurred between all the nations of the planet, who are now faced with the knowledge of an incoming alien species. President Biden and President Putin, uh, Putin <laughs> joined together with President, what the fuck they to lead the world's first Congress of Earth nations. Um, on the oncoming arrival, Purity Blue was awarded the Nobel Prize for the research that would inver invertibly lead to halting World War III. Despite protests from cute bitch and others who believe the Aukian should have should save humanity or replace it, U.S., China, and Russia agreed to build a co constellation space force in preparation for Aukian for the Aukian to it all. But force on high alert, two thousand missiles into the discharge space once the other skips destroyed fleet toward Earth. Many fleets around the globe destroying the spot when it, by six. Change of fire. Have the last thing space field first turn around back home world weather right about time nearly reaching the end like in style is killed in battle. Damn it. We could have we could have joined forces as plants. No, that was crazy. I told you cute bitch was stupid. <laughs> I told you not to bring him out her cute bitch, I told you. I told you this evil. They're no good nothing aliens. Written by algebra. Algebra Falcon. That's a crazy ass name. <laughs> anyway, I guess, I guess that was it. I'm pissed off that my fucking mic broke. God damn it. Anyway, <laughs> see ya next time. See you.